What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV, and this is the detail speed test between the Google Pixel 2 XL and the iPhone 8 Plus. So in the usual Super Saf style, we'll be covering everything from camera launch, to fingerprint scanner speed, to benchmark scores, moving on to some app tests, then some games, and finishing off with RAM management. Now a few points to mention before we start, the Pixel 2 XL does have a high resolution compared to the iPhone 8 Plus. We've got Quad HD Plus versus Full HD, so it'll be interesting to see how this affects the results. And also both devices have been updated to the latest software version available at the time of this video. Also if you haven't already, then do consider subscribing, there's lots of quality tech content coming up here on the channel. So to start off with looking at benchmark scores for those of you who are interested, as you guys may have seen before, the iPhone 8 Plus scores very much higher compared to any other device out there. This is both for the single or multi-core scores. Now we will be obviously seeing how much this translates into real world situations. And with the camera launch, using the quickest methods to launch both cameras, very close there. Now let's slow this down to see which one was faster. And it looks like both of them actually fully finished at roughly the same time. So I'll call this one a draw. Moving on to the fingerprint scanner speed test. Now we do have fingerprint scanners in different positions on both devices. This is going to come down to your personal preference. Looking at speed. Now it did seem to finish first on the Pixel 2 XL, slowing this down. We start seeing the screen first on the iPhone 8 Plus. But in terms of completion, it is the Pixel 2 XL. Now from the lock screen. Once again, the Pixel 2 XL winning out here and you can see this more clearly when we slow this down. Now moving on to the app test, you can see that we have no other apps open in the background and we are gonna be starting off with the browser. We're using the native browsers on both devices and we are gonna be going on to the BBC News website mainly because there are no adverts on that site. Opening both at the same time. Finishes very quickly on the Pixel. And we still have the load bar on the iPhone 8 Plus coming in a few seconds later. We're going to accept the cookies and we're going to find an article, the same one to go onto both. Start seeing the content first on the Pixel. Looks like the iPhone finished just a fraction of a second quicker, however. We'll leave this open. We're going to move on to Twitter. Quicker on the Pixel. Now we'll refresh home and we'll go into notifications. Both of these manage notifications slightly differently, so we won't take that into consideration. Let's move on to Instagram. That was quicker on the pixel once again. Going onto my profile, quick on the pixel. Opening an image, also quicker on the pixel. Moving on to YouTube, quicker on the pixel. Quite a bit quicker on the pixel actually. Opening this video from my buddy Hamza, started playing fast on the Pixel. Now moving on to games, we're going to be starting off with Angry Birds 2 and you can notice this timer at the bottom. This is going to tell us exactly how much time each of these take to load up the games. And in this instance, it was quicker on the iPhone 8 Plus, coming in a few seconds later on the Pixel. We're going to leave this open and we're going to move on to the next game which is Mario Run. This time it was quicker, slightly on the Pixel. We're gonna to tap to start the game. That was slightly quicker on the iPhone 8 Plus. Now we're gonna move on to Sonic Dash. Quicker on the iPhone 8 Plus, coming in a few seconds later on the Pixel. We'll play the game, I'm gonna leave this open. Moving on to Temple Run 2. Very quick on the iPhone 8 Plus. Pixel coming in a couple of seconds later. We're gonna play the game. Now we're gonna move on to Subway Surfers. Very quick on the iPhone 8 Plus. A few seconds later on the Pixel once again. We're gonna leave this open. And now we're gonna move on to Dead Trigger 2. Super quick on the iPhone 8 Plus for the intro screen. We'll play both and we'll see which one of these finishes loading the game up faster. 
it is once again the iPhone 8 Plus. So we are seeing a bit of a trend here, although for the lower intensive apps, it was the Pixel winning out. For the games, it does look like it is the iPhone. Now I do want to emphasize the fact that we are working with a low resolution on the iPhone 8 Plus, which may be a contributing factor. But nevertheless, moving on, we have a couple more games. Firstly, we have Asphalt 8. That was quicker on the iPhone 8 Plus again. We're going to leave this open and we've got one final game. Now the reason why we're loading up so many games is because we want to test out the RAM management towards the end. So let's go on to Real Steel. iPhone 8 Plus and Quite a few seconds later, we have the Google Pixel 2 XL. Now we'll play the game. And it is the iPhone 8 Plus, followed by the Pixel 2 XL a couple of seconds later. Now let's move on to RAM management. So we're going to see how many of these apps and games are still open on both devices. So Asphalt Date is still open on both. We'll leave it open and we are going to move on to Dead Trigger 2. Still open on both. Now Subway Surfers. Same place on both. Temper on two. Aha. Okay, so this does have to reload on the Pixel. It is still open on the iPhone 8 Plus. Moving on to Sonic Dash. This also has to reopen on the Pixel. But hold on, hold on, what just happened there? It looks like we have had a crash on the iPhone 8 Plus. This is something that I think a lot of people have noticed that the new version of iOS isn't completely stable as yet. And Sonic did have to reload on the iPhone 8 Plus following that crash. Very, very interesting. Now we're gonna move on to Mario Run. Has to reopen on both devices. Moving on. Angry Birds 2, once again, has to reload on both devices. Now, that's the games. Let's see how many of the regular apps are open. YouTube is still in the same place on the Pixel, but it does have to completely reload on the iPhone 8 Plus. Moving on to Instagram, once again, it is still open on the Pixel, but it has to reload on the iPhone 8 Plus. Twitter, still in notifications on both. It did look like we had a bit of reload time on both, however. Moving on to the browsers. And we are on the article in the same place, but it did look like both had to reload. So some very, very interesting results from this speed test. For the fingerprint scanner speed and some of the regular apps, the Pixel did win out overall. But when it came to loading up games, the iPhone 8 Plus was the winner. Now, this may be partly because it has a low resolution and it has less pixels to work with compared to the Pixel. And when it came to RAM management, I think we'd call it a bit of a draw. Neither of these doing amazingly because a lot of the apps were closed down on both devices. Now, this does seem to be partly because we have brand new software on both devices and it is gonna take some time for this software to be fully optimized. So if you want to see a retest of both devices maybe in a few weeks time, then definitely let me know. And also let me know in the comments below what you thought of the results of this speed test. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications. We've got plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on SuperSaf TV, and I'll see you next time.